Hello and welcome to another Blender Know How tutorial. In this video we're going to create a simple dialog box within Blender and hopefully we don't get too complicated. Uh, but yeah, this is just something very simple. If you haven't already watched uh, my functions or know what functions are, you should probably go figure a little bit of what those are first. Um, you can just go watch some videos and they're they're pretty short so you that'll get you right up to speed. Um, also, if you know what classes are, that would help a ton as this tutorial is going to use them and I will explain what they are very briefly, but I won't explain very deeply what they are. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is what we're creating. Uh, open up a new Blender file and go into the scripting tab and click on new. Um, and I'm just going to turn on those. That's the line numbers and highlight syntaxing. So now I'm just going to import the standard Blender Python files and we're going to create our class right off the, right the get-go. A class essentially is an object. Um, it can be practically anything. It boils down to obviously bits, but we can name things and create abstract ideas using classes. Uh, for instance, if we wanted to make a class for a house, we could do that. And inside the house, we can have members of a household, like people. And then inside that, and it all boils down to like either numbers or a string, which is text, or something like that. But essentially, what we're going to do here is we have a class. I'm going to name it my class uh, for just for just defaults. So you can use this for whatever you want. But this class. Uh, it's just gonna hold just our dialog information. So we need to call that. It's gonna be a type. Uh, much like in other languages, you would call a class and you would have it like an int type or a string type or there's a whole bunch of other types of things that you can create. Any kind of object. So the object that we're going to, or the type, is going to be bpy.types and this is so we can actually access all the Blender types that we can use within Blender right here by just typing in this. And we're going to use the operator type. Hopefully you understand a little bit of what I was getting at there. Uh, so because we called the type bpy.types.operator, it's a few things that we need to uh, uh, say within this class. First off, we need a bl underscore id name. So these are kind of prerequisites for anything that we do within the dialog box here in Blender. Uh, we can name this whatever we want though. So I can name this uh, dialog.box. Just know that it has to be um, uh, the first letter I don't think can be capitalized like these two. Uh, just keep that in mind as you go through this. Uh, BL underscore label now this, if I pull open that image again, hold on one second. <clears throat> that right here, this label is going to be this. So we can name it whatever we would like to. So we can name it dialog box, I guess. Dial and this can be whatever case you want. But yeah, so that should work now. Uh, next, we're going to do this line right here, text, and then our input. So to do that, we want to store it in a variable first off. So let's just make the variable text or something, and then make it equal to uh, bpy.props.stringProperty. Oops. And we can put this uh, name is equal to uh, text. Yeah. So now that's just going to name name this line text, and you will see it right there on that line. So really, that is the dialog box. We haven't called it, so nothing will happen except for you might get errors. Um, but yeah, let's just keep going. So there's a couple other things that we need to do within this uh, my class that we've created. So we need to define an execute function. 
and we're going to call self and context. What this does is whenever we call this class, we're, we can call this execute function within it um, with the with self and context. Self is essentially just with anything that we declare within the class. So and context is a Blender um, a Blender Python library. So now we can just do return and this can inside here actually let me, I'm jumping too far ahead inside here you could create if you had a function all the way down here called whoops like create define create cube right we had a function like that up here we could actually call that and say create cube and that is actually what would happen when you click the OK button. That's what the execute is doing. It's whenever you click the OK button, execute is ran. Uh, so for right now, we don't have a function. So let's just do return. And I'm going to put finished. Now, this is essentially what would happen if you had like a terminal on your computer or if you were to type it in here. It would be like it is the output to the command line. Now we have another function that we need to define, and it's called invoke. And it's going to call self, context, and event. And we're going to just straight up return. And this is actually what's going to create the window itself. So we're going to return context, and we're going to return window, man, or not return, usually separately. We're going to return context.window uh, manager, and that's within. Blender. These are all Blender libraries. So this is the window manager library. And then inside of that, there's also the invoke props dialog. And we'll just say self. If you have any questions about what's happened so far, go ahead and ask in the comments. Hopefully I can answer. If not, hopefully someone else can. Um, now we're just going to call our class. Because we, we have our class and it's all fine and dandy, but it doesn't do anything right now. Well, it it would do something if we just called it. So let's just call it. bby.utils. Uh, so this is Blender Libraries again, because we're calling it bby.utils.register class. So now we're registering the class within Blender so that it can actually use it. And now this is just going to be whatever this is. You just copy and paste that or just type it in. And then we're going to type one more thing, bpy.ops. OPS, dot dialog and it's because of this dialog box so you can just copy and paste this down here and it's going to be invoke um, default and this is just the default that it's going to work so it's going to do this stuff uh, now we run the script and voila we now have a dialog box I really hope that you've learned something in this video um, you can I probably explain that really badly I forgive me if I've made mistakes as well uh, but uh, if it's helped you let me know and stay and subscribe and continue watching more videos thank you bye bye